it all here. They certainly have the ability. They could do it, I'm telling you. First, we'll see how they handle Amsterdam and Worthy De Jong. Craftsmanship. Nice move in the paint, soft touch to finish things off. Well, Amsterdam cannot lose if they want to play on. Worthy's confused. I'm confused with all them spots. Slotter is down. Oh, he ran into Panda. He ain't so soft. All over to Amsterdam. Dang. Jarring hands it off. Slockter comes around. Let's give it back to Juice. Juice, back to you. You do something. No, you do something. Got a whistle. Holding foul on Ulaanbaatar. Drizzy, quiet in the opener. He's not quiet here. Boom, on the oop. Nice play design. Probably a nice confidence throw for Drizzy. But it's taken away quickly by the two pieces. Ula Batar are on the board. It's the gun. Dogon, that is. Recent, certainly with a height advantage, not exactly a size advantage going, to get, going up against Odgonjagov. Now it's worthy on the prowl. Shout out to my friend Biamba. Biamba watching uh, from uh, somewhere here at Ulan Matar. He said, make sure you give me a shout out while I'm watching the Ulan Matar game. I got you, man. I got you. Done with the miss. Ingbot, though, on the baseline. And he's able to draw a foul. What a crowd here from Shukbatar Square. Packed venue has been this way all week. Absolute 3x3 takeover. With the first ever women's series and first ever masters held here in this legendary city. See the activity underneath with Steve Sir and Juice. Third whistle against Ulan Batar. Well, he gives it up. He's gonna let Arvin and Juice, the Amsterdam veterans, link up for a bucket. Steve, sir. Off the miss is Juice now. Slotter. Oh, that is deflected. Gonjagal got a hand on it, and Steve, sir, had it slip out of his hand. Out of bounds, I believe, to Amsterdam, it is. As Jaring will start from the logo. Slockter inside. Teresa gets some space and finishes it. Now his assignment is Zinkbot. Now it's Monster Deck. Oh, they're missing. So 4-2 start in this pool C battle between heavyweights. Pass deflected. That'll leave eight seconds for Ulaanbaatar to go to work with. Oh, oh, oh. 
Monster deck. Be very afraid. Be very afraid. 4-4. Four, four. So a bullseye from the man, also known as the bull. 4-4. Four, four. Worthy, getting to work. Uh-oh, this is the matchup we wanted to see. Inkbot absolutely shuts Worthy down. And the crowd is letting him hear it. So Doug Gunn brought his handcuffs, apparently. He has Worthy do a bid. The help defense on the inside doesn't hurt from Panda. Doug Gunn, Steve Sir. Not that time. After the deflection, it's Arvin. And Slaughter trying to find Dreesen, but Dreesen is fouled. Fourth on Ulan Batar. Time for a media timeout in an even game. Four apiece. Some, uh, some close contests today. We are in game number seven. On day one. Right on guards, Hop Trans and Losan are coming up next. Our first look at Ula Matar MMC Energy, who will wrap up their day against Kandava, Kandava, excuse me, Tariba. But they can earn, earn a quarterfinal spot right here, right now, by eliminating Amsterdam. Easier said than done, it's Worthy. He's got the Wilson in hand, excuse me. He got places to go and buckets to get. He steps through and puts Amsterdam up one. The gun drops off that disc to the ball. Worthy right back, softly off the window, he goes. Ball gets him back started from the logo to the elbow. The bull now operating with Coach Sir. Panda in and out, two on the way. Nope, comes up short. Slotter inside feed. Dreesen no good that time. They haven't been shy about featuring Dreesen. They feel like they have an advantage in the post. That time Slotter is going to get called. It's the fourth on Amsterdam. Substitution is made, juice is out, hype is in. Tyler Satan is going to take a closer look at that last possession and determine uh, what the shot clock should be. So six seconds on the Baudet. We step back on the Inlio flow. And we're going to see if Ula Matar can put the Wilson in the Skelda Sports. Oh man, I just took care of all the sponsors, suppliers. <laughs> Except Magic Sky, my bad. 7 5. Davasabu. Ooh. Ooh. with lockdown D. Drizzy on the run. And he finishes with a strong layup. The gun. Steve Sir pulls the trigger, misfires. Foul on the rebound, fifth on Amsterdam. Three 
point lead though for the Dutch. 8-5 as we get close to the midway point, 5-19. From the elbow, it's Panda. Pandemonium. He's denied. And a warning for Juice who let his frustration take a moment. Arthur Jargon at the line with one in front of him. I've seen his, his game has really improved over the course of the last three years. He's become a dependable member of this squad. Worthy waiting for a screen. Action is broken up by a sixth Ula Baton foul. Oh, nice action, Slogter. And Juice finishes three years ago. That would have been a dunk. Oh, let's see, sir. The Sheriff has got it out of the holster. 9-7. Manslaughter. No. Juice. No. Worthy can't get the tip. He left his wallet. 9-7. It'll stay. Igbot now being pursued by Worthy. Worthy whistled for the foul. It was a great defensive possession all the way up until the whistle. But watching Del Gunn and Worthy go at it has been a treat. Two free throws coming up. Del Gunn, a part of the, one of the most valiant efforts that I've, I've ever seen in 3x3. If you saw them at the Deverson Olympic Qualifying Tournament, they did not get a ticket to the Olympics, which was uh, obviously devastating, but they played with three players, and I've never seen that type of an effort. Meantime, it's Slockter cashing in from deep. Uh-oh, Steve Sir, he heaped up like leftovers. 11-10. Can't finish on the spin, gets it back, and he will convert that layup. Lost the deck, defended by Slochter. Dugan, Inkbot to the crib. Amsterdam's lead at one. Drizzy, left right call, Slochter slides left. He's got Drizzy wide open and he finds him. Third down to the ball. No hope in the post. So time for a media timeout. And the game is as tight as we expected it to be. It was the contest we had circled day one. And by we, I mean me. And I think everybody could recognize the potential of a game like this. Amsterdam being a powerhouse. Ula Matar also being a power and playing in their own backyard. They get tired, take the lead. Oh, the ball charges into the game. Slockter, good look. Not the result he had hoped for as that goes begging. 13 up. Three minutes on the game clock. 
12 seconds on the shot clock as Amsterdam get going. Height worthy. That is basket weaving. Right to the defense. Oh, Inkbot hits the deck. And I think Slotkin is the culprit. That is an inopportune foul for Amsterdam. It's their eighth. Slotkin just a little bit gassed. Maybe that's what caused that, that foul. No gun. Splashes. The first of two. And Ula Matar could step in front. With a make here, we'll see. And it's good. That's locked her. He's gonna line up a two, oh, and now he's called for the flop. So, a couple of uh, plays that Slotkin would like to forget. Called for the defensive foul, the fatigue foul, and uh, now caught flopping. Another point of emphasis this year, if you try to bait the official, or if the official feels like you're trying to bait him, you can hit with that technical. And Sir takes care of it at the line. The horseman galloping towards the rim, somehow the panda. Covers and scores. Oh, juice. Oh, too strong. Sir. No. Loose ball to Dreesen. Travel. Amsterdam have to maintain their composure now. This is about to travel twice. He does get a whistle. Sir, with nowhere to go. Already putting the clamps on him. Got by Samu. 18-14. Ula Batar looking to send Amsterdam home early. Slotter. No. Oh, wow. What an effort to save that. Somehow, Amsterdam are still in possession. Worthy. Attacking the ball. Ole. Three-point contest. That time, Monster Deck is going to get called for an offensive foul. Dava Sambu drops that shoulder. And he's whistled. But Ulan Batar in a great position here. 18 to 15 advantage with a minute 23 left. They've done a good job containing an Amsterdam offense that is good for 19 points per game. A little over 19 a game. That's what they entered 2024 with. And right now, the offense has not been free-flowing for the Dutchman. Again, losing their opener. And now playing with their backs against the wall. Hype worthy. Attacking up guns are gone. Oh, worthy. Splash. Splash. Oh! That wasn't clear. Ball wasn't clear. So possession to Amsterdam. Minute to play. Dreesen to receive a check. 
It is crunch time indeed. Under 60 ticks in a one point contest. Slaughter, man down. Amsterdam in front. Dugan, no. Slaughter with the rebound. Arvin can't put it away. Juice trying to keep it alive. 30 seconds left. Ulamatar can tie or take the lead. Two is no good. 20 seconds left. Big possession for both teams. Can Ulamatar hold them off? Two is off target. They got nine seconds to tie or take the lead. Bad shot there from Ogunjir Gaul. And you can see that Ulan Batar are absolutely gassed. But Amsterdam in a desperate in desperate need of a win just to have hopes of getting to the quarterfinals. But they showed up. Oh, worthy. Had it poked away for just a minute. Just enough time to run out the final few seconds. Off the clock. 19-18 W for Amster. Game over Ulaanbaatar. What a game.